I'm Terra Oracle, and these are the hottest pre-orders in 2021. In my opinion, of course. My channel, my opinion, these are the ones that I think you should order. I mean, I think you should just pick up uh, at this point for 2021. The first one is going to be Chiro Marchetti's Last Hurrah, the Tarot Decorative. And I say last hurrah because he did say that he was, you know, not making any more decks because of piracy issues and whatnot. So this is, I believe, the last one you're going to see, uh, assuming what he says is legit and he sticks with it. I mean, he's been doing it a long time. you got to retire eventually. So this is the last hurrah. I mean, this is a mass market deck. It's only 30 bucks. It's available from U.S. Game System. Pick it up. The other one is the um, Paulina Tarot. I mean, it's back. The uh, Paulina Fay, Paulina Cassidy, what have you. If you like the Paulina Tarot, this one here, you like this style. I mean, I'm just saying, this is a new deck. It's coming in June, and it looks kind of like her other decks. So if you're burned out on this, that's probably not something you want to pick up. But if you're not, this looks pretty nice. It is very, very sort of pastel -y and attractive. Has a lot of good things going for it, in my opinion. You know, a lot of this is cool looking. It is very cool. June's going to be a big month, so kind of prepare yourself for that. Definitely one you want to pick up, right? The other one is Chris Ann's next big thing, which is the tales or the tarot of the curious creatures. So it is looking pretty cool. I mean, we only have one card. But it is Chris Ann. I mean, Chris Ann's not going to put out junk. So you're looking at another Lightseer's Tarot kind of thing. Muse Tarot, Sacred Creators Oracle, whatever. You need to pick it up. 26 bucks. That is very reasonable. That is very reasonable for a high quality deck. Considering the prices on some of the other things that I've seen, not mass market, but soon to be is the Orion's Animal Tarot. So I know a lot of people picked this up before. It was kind of an exclusive and whatnot. Um, very, very pretty. That is an attractive set of cards for the price of 20 bucks. That is, in my opinion, a no-brainer. You know, it's one of the ones where you just pick it up. You don't really think about it. You just hit the, hit the button. And uh, that's what I did. Orion's Animal Tarot. It's going to be out coming in November. Definitely another one to pick up. And a lot of you loved the Heaven and Earth Tarot. I saw all the comments. It's actually one of my most viewed deck reviews lately. Not of all time. I've been on YouTube for 11 years. Obviously, I have more, more older decks that were looked at more, etc. But... Heaven and Earth Tarot, same person, made a new one. It looks kind of like the Heaven and Earth Tarot. Uh, it looks great. So if you're into this and you just like, I need to have another one, it looks fantastic. 35 bucks is pretty steep, but keep in mind that it might come with a book. This box is very kind of confusing. Um, I'm saying it might because I don't see a book. Normally, they're going to post a picture of a book and cards. If it does come with a book, I don't see anything here. And I'm just guessing it's going to come with a book, but we'll see. But anyway, this is something to keep in mind if you just absolutely love that deck. The Labyrinth Tarot and Guidebook. Speaking of book, this one only had like one or two pictures before, but they've added more now. And here you go. This is what you can expect with the Labyrinth Tarot. And I know a lot of you, I know a lot of you have ordered this. I know a lot of you have ordered this. So it's looking pretty cool. Um, you're the Queen of Junk, the King of Junk. Again, looks pretty wild. Look wild, cool, unusual. Um, I'm looking forward to this. Not a fan of the borders, but whatever for 20 bucks. It's, it's literally 20 bucks straight. I mean, 29 Pretty good deal for a deck and a guidebook. Um, granted, the guidebook looks kind of sparse if that's a page from it. 
but 21 bucks i'm not really gonna question it too much i'm just gonna pick it up a lot of disney decks coming out um we don't have any final images for the disney decks we have the disney villains coming out we have the alice in wonderland coming out so they paid for the uh copyright and minerva siegel is is cranking them out uh, this person is cranking them out we got the labyrinth we got a license we got the supernatural disney villains alice in wonderland night before christmas so they're they're cranking them out now keep in mind the nightmare before christmas really could have used more effort put into the miners Hopefully that's addressed with the Alice in Wonderland, but Disney villains, Alice in Wonderland, if you're into this, if you're into Disney, I mean, who isn't, then this is definitely something that you, uh, you want to at least keep an eye out for. It's not just for Halloween anymore. The author behind the pre-Raphaelite tarot has created a new one called the Jack-O-Lantern Tarot. It looks kind of like the pre-Raphaelite tarot. We have the, the clouds look similar to it and whatnot. But um, Giuliano Costa, again, here's the pre-Raphaelite tarot. Uh, if you liked this deck, then you have kind of a similar deck coming out, obviously, with this uh, jack-o'-lantern tarot. So if that's your thing then in September, you can pick up another deck that looks kind of like it. it uh, this is, I love this deck. A lot of people compliment the deck. A lot of people want to know what the deck is when I use it. The Cirque du Terror. This one came out of kind of nowhere. And I like it. The Big Top. Uh, the Six of Cups. That looks cool. The Emperor looks cool. It's just a very sort of out there deck. And I like it. I like it a lot. I'm looking forward to this one. It, I mean, it's coming in at 31 bucks, so definitely not the cheapest deck in the world. But, I mean, if you're just looking for something unusual, fun, and I am, then this is your style. It's borderless. I love the titles, how they're done. I think the artwork is really cool. Definitely something coming out from Llewellyn, right? Keep in mind, Llewellyn has 35% off coupons all the time. So keep, I mean, keep subscribed to my page. I will post within like 30 seconds when I get a coupon notification for them or just sign up for their spam or watch my page, whatever. So you're looking at, I mean, you're looking at the price of 31 bucks, but you can take 35% off of it. You just got to keep an eye out for the coupon. And that's a very reasonable price uh, for some of these decks. Tarot at the end of the rainbow caught my eye. It just looks cool. It looks good. This is the art style that I love. Minimalist titles, borderless, vibrant, fun, just, just entertaining images. This is one of those tarots. And it is by David Corsi. You know David Corsi from the Gregory Scott tarot and, and literally countless, countless other, other decks. Gregory Scott Tarot, right? The uh, Ghost Tarot, 3D Grand Trumps, the Tarot Draconis, Vice Versa, Tarot of the Elves, Pharaoh, I mean, just, it literally never ends. It literally never ends. This is a superpower. Uh, apparently he has a superpower in the artwork, but uh, yeah, it cranks them out. Another gorgeous deck. Everybody really enjoys the decks that I use from David Corsi. For 25 bucks, again from Llewellyn with a coupon, you're looking at like 18 bucks, guys. You're looking at like 18 bucks for this. Uh, it's really a no-brainer. Order it off their site with a 35% off. Uh, Tarot of the Oppositions. This one kind of, it was, it was big for a little bit. And then everybody was like enthralled with all the new stuff. So this is not a new deck. Um... It's coming out in August. It was announced a long time ago. It's kind of been swept under the rug by some of the other hype. But this is going to be literally fantastic. The idea, the concept behind this, 
the the way the art is done, the titles being so minimalist on the side. I'm hesitant to show this because it does only have one image, but the Tarot of Enchanted Soul, I guess, kind of has me at a... Um, it just really looks good, the artwork. The misty thing, the entire sort of the canvas line. Do you see sort of the canvas texture kind of feel on that? And the, um, yeah, it looks good. One image, but the Disney stuff only has one image as well. Yeah, I know it's Disney. Uh, that looks really good. Looks really good. I would have liked more images, but um, this is on my watch list. I guess my concern is that's high price. For only having one image, but definitely on my watch list. Ask the Witch Tara. We know sort of the modern witch, the white Newman packaging. Uh, and it appears that we have another one just like it. Uh, at least that's what it looks like, right? The little book, the box, the cards, the artwork does remind me of the modern witch tarot. It does. So if you like that, and I know a lot of people just adored that deck. And if you did, this is another one to sort of keep an eye out for. And uh, yeah, 25 bucks. It looks like a no brainer for me because I liked that IP. The, um, yeah, <laughs> the uh, Feline Marseille. Uh, not only for the innovative box style, that they have invented, but also just for the cards, just for the cards. You have a variety of boxes that you can choose from. I believe it has gilded edges. Uh, it is a, a cat deck. I know a lot of you like the cat decks. And um, you, it's like 40 bucks each. I know this is 85 bucks, but it is, uh, I think it was 35 or 40 on the Kickstarter, and it's sort of coming uh, to here. Let's see. They got the Neo Rider was also a big thing. Here we go, 45 bucks. It, it just looks good. And it comes in maroon, comes in emerald, comes in this sort of this pink. I ordered the pink because I think it looks cool. It kind of fits the cat theme. But if this is your thing... You know, you've like, I've been wanting to get into TDM, but I don't want a boring TDM. This is a, this is a pretty good deal, in my opinion. So definitely keep an eye out for this. It's coming soon. The Kickstarter is, I believe, over and is in the printing process, whatever. The Tarot Avatar just got off of Kickstarter. Same person that made the Bonefire Tarot. And if you're into the Bonefire Tarot, if you're into this art style, it's a very attractive art style. And keep an eye out on the page. It, the page is Tarot Avatara. The page is Tarot Avatara. And it just looks great. It really looks great. So uh, yeah, you can go on here and kind of see where the images are and what type of images are around here. Um, Definitely cool, unusual, fun, whimsical kind of images. And a lot of people love the Bonefire. A lot of people are going to love this. Definitely keep an eye out on tarotavatara.com and you know, sort of wait when they get stock in. This is going to be big. The Fauna Bell Tarot is sort of a kid's tarot. It's sort of a whimsical little children's tarot. And... Um, Looks really fun. Looks really cool. I love the images. This is so minimalistic, but the pastel border style, the pastel art, the cool border style. We got postcards. We got um, all sorts of merch that you can sort of get for this. And I'm saying I really like the art. So not a lot of art yeah, I'm kind of wanted to see all the cards I guess but I mean from what I've seen it looks pretty good and you know sort of a fun little uh, children's deck at 40 bucks that's a lot more reasonable it is oversized cards okay 
350 GSM. What you're getting for 40 bucks is a pretty good deal in my opinion. 350 GSM, uh, premium cardstock, soft touch finish. You're getting all 78 cards. They are larger. I'm just saying this is this is a pretty good deal. I'm not saying it's like the deal of the century, but it's it's pretty good deal. Meraki Tarot is, I believe my copy shipped. I believe my copy shipped already. But holy crap, this looks fun. This looks so fun. This looks so good. It really does. This really looks good. Um, you know, the pre-orders are out. You can go to this site here. Just search for Meraki Tarot. It's Bouchette Design. And, uh, you know, here you have the production timeline. Um, it's running late. <laughs> Obviously, you're talking about 2020 days. I mean, it's running late, but definitely something to keep an eye out on, right? You just want to keep an eye out on this because that's a very, very attractive deck, in my opinion, of course. So let's sort of look at it more pre-orders. Speaking of running late, the deck of many animated spells. Um, all right, I'm going to play this. No, I don't want to play the, the video is so loud. The video is so loud. Let me mute my computer before I hit play. And you can kind of see where this is going. Um, I have to mute it. All right. Yeah, that's good. Because this right here is so freaking loud. Let me sort of show you what it looks like. So you have these cards. As you, you know, turn them in different directions, they look uh, different and whatnot. I mean, so here you go. So I mean, that's sort of where we're at, right? We just have moving parts of the cards. Um, it looks fun. And it's made for D&D, &D, but they do have a tarot in there. And I'm just sort of waiting for it. They're running epic late. But uh, this is something that you might want to look out for, right? It was pretty reasonable at the time. Definitely sort of watch out for that. Cosmovision Oracle, it's out. Definitely has a Van Gogh feel to it. It's a very pretty deck. Uh, you can kind of put this into tarot perspective because it does have sort of the same amount. And you can also put the cards together. A lot of good things with the Cosmovision Oracle. And that is sort of out now. Another one that's coming out, you go to jamiesawyer336.com. This is going to be the Pocket of Pierce Tarot. Which, in case you're like, what is that? that? That's this. I know a lot of you are avoiding Kickstarter. It is on Kickstarter. If you don't want to do Kickstarter, it'll be on her site. And this is it. This is a, this is a hot pre-order. This is something you definitely want to watch out for. It's going to be pretty, pretty exciting, in my opinion. So definitely keep an eye out for that. And the last one, the last one is the Phantom, the Phantom A tarot deck. Also on Kickstarter, but you can go to her site and pre-order it. Again, I'm trying to avoid Kickstarter at this point for pre-orders. Um, what makes this cool is you have a multi-dimensional guidebook. Uh, it's a high-quality design. The art is fantastic. It's borderless. I love the titles. I love everything. And it comes with an app. And so the app, you can scan a card and it'll tell you sort of learning, you know, about the card and whatnot. So I think that's kind of fun and cool. Sort of the uh, augmented reality, per se, right? the augmented reality sort of app. And a lot of pretty art, a lot of good stuff here. And again, go to her site and you can get a pre-order in. And those are my hottest pre-orders of 2021. Thank you for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe. I greatly, greatly appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. And the rumors are true. Did you know I had a Patreon? A Patreon is where you can support me. If you like the work I do, if you like the things that you see on the channel, consider supporting me. What's Well, you get all the handouts from all of my projects. So if I have a handout for the collabs or the Tarot and the Seasons, the Selling Your Tarot on Kickstarter, Psychic Fair Secrets, all of the handouts, all of the cheat sheets, you get it all, including all of my books that I've written, the Tarot Oracles book, Echoes of Nature book, and the upcoming book that I have for the Waterfall Tarot deck. In addition, you get the fluffy Virgo Lenormand and all the Lenormand cloths. 
are all included. But the best part, one of the best parts as well, is I teach you how to draw. So if you're interested in drawing stuff, if you're interested in getting pet portraits out the window, I teach you secrets on how to do that in like four to five hours. You can draw the animals you see on the screen. I have secrets to how to do it super quickly. I have super quick method to where everything you see on the screen was done in four to five hours. What can you do with this? You can go to your local Facebook groups and sell it. You can go on Etsy and sell pet portraits and make some pretty good cash. I mean, on Etsy, just by the way, this is 15 hours, 15 to 20 hours of information and actual instruction. I show you all of the pencils to use, how to use them, all the techniques step by step, nice slow manner. And again, this is only four hours work. I mean, you see people on Etsy doing um, realistic pet stuff. They're charging over a hundred bucks. So, you know, if you're interested in this, if you're interested in cranking this out in like four hours, then uh, definitely see my course. My, my, my actual pets look better than that. My, that's, that's kind of, I mean, that was like a three hour job there for me. Um, but yeah, the actual pets look better than that. I mean, cause look at that and compare it to that. I mean, mine look better. I mean, I'm just saying, mine look super realistic and I only do it four to five hours. Anyway, thank you for supporting and watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, we'll see you next time.